I'm Ruthie Brooks, licensed real estate professional with Balistrieri Real Estate and leading real estate companies of the world. I've been a realtor for almost 30 years and Balistrieri is celebrating 60 years this year. Before moving to Florida and starting my real estate career, I worked for AT&T for 20 years. It's probably time for me to retire, but I love what I do. I was very fortunate when I first started in real estate that a friend, former chair, Mike McLean, told me that if you are in business, you need to be a member of the chamber. I took his advice and have been active for 30 years. I am the events chair on the executive committee of the board of directors. The chamber has given me so much return on my investment and involvement over the years. Not only has it contributed to my success in business, but I've made so many good friends over the years. Rosanna was one of those friends, and I am deeply honored to receive the Rosanna Meyer Leadership Award. Rosanna was a beautiful woman inside and out. She was full of energy and enthusiasm, and I really miss her. I'm grateful to have known her. Thank you for this award. So my name is Dustin Jacobs with Bright Star Credit Union. Bright Star Credit Union is a regionally based credit union. South Florida is our home and we were founded originally by educators. So giving back and educating our community is a huge part of what we do. We are now open to everyone in the community, which is important to note. You know, people always say, oh, you have to be a teacher. No, you can do anything, live, work or attend in one of our counties. So. Um, great organization. Our philosophy is giving back to the people. I, I have to say that, um, you know, it kind of ties back to the company and who we are and what we do. Because to me, that's personal. I see the benefit that we provide. We're saving people money. We're improving people's financial lives. And that's our mission. You know, I think that that's an important part of who I am and what I believe in. So to me, it makes what I do natural. I like to think that um, I work to help people. I am involved in so many different areas of the community, uh, just trying to get out there and do what we do, help as many people as we can. Um, you know, I, I'm very passionate myself about education and the underserved in education. And, uh, you know, sit on many boards uh, around the area that, that we just work to improve lives. Oh wow, um, yeah, I, have, I would love to acknowledge um, you know, my coworkers, my team. I have an a, amazing group of executives that I work with. I have an amazing team. My husband, you know, all of the people at the Chamber of Commerce and in our community, I am truly surrounded by wonderful people and that makes all the difference. So I'm thankful for everyone. Oh, the Businessman of the Year Award. I, I'm um, very humbled. Uh, it's it's uh, something that, you know, I feel like you're not really working when you do what you love. And I love what I do. And to me, this is something that, that I'm just humbled and honored, so thankful for the, the Chamber for recognizing me for this. I, I feel like, um, you know, you work, you work so much and, and to receive an honor like this is a, a tremendous feat and I'm so thankful. I would like to thank the Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce for recognizing me for this award. I, I've said this numerous times, we partner with so many different chambers around the area and they are the best, most collaborative, supportive chamber that, that we partner with and I'm very thankful for them honoring me. My name is Lori McQuestion. I'm the Director of Business Development for the Miami Association of Realtors here in Broward County. 
As Director of Business Development, I work with just over 14,000 realtors and brokers here in Broward County. I represent the largest realtor association in the country. We have over 60,000 members. We're also the second largest in the world. Personal story, a little something about me. Well, those who know me already know, but some may not. Um, I have uh, an alias, if you will. It's two-story Lori. I finally got the vanity plate on my car after all these years. But um, I've had that nickname. Um, it started back when I was in radio a few years back. I was a news and traffic reporter and needed a, a cool name for on air. And the inside joke was that it was two-story Lori, the tallest woman in radio. But it still sticks with me today because uh, in addition to my current job duties, I'm also a DJ, MC, and vocalist. And so that's my stage name. <laughs> I think I have created and maintained um, business and professional relationships almost my entire life. Um, that's something that I pride myself on. I am um, a very outgoing person and I have the ability to not only reach out to people, communicate well with people, but also maintain long-standing relationships with them, which I think is really important in life. I would like to acknowledge um, and thank my husband for his patience and perseverance. I have an extremely busy schedule, as you can probably tell, and uh, we don't get to spend a lot of t uh, quality time together. I'd also like to acknowledge my friends and family for their support and for keeping me grounded as things can get a little crazy. Um, I can get a little crazy at times. Last and certainly not least, I would like to also acknowledge my boss and good friend, Danielle Claremont, COO of the Miami Association of Realtors. I don't think uh, Business Woman of the Year is just about doing business per se. Um, and of course, being a woman, it's great, but I think that it's more about um, establishing and maintaining those relationships, not just on a personal, but also professional level. Uh, that's a big part of doing business and a big part of being successful. And I'd like to personally thank the Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce for honoring me with this award. I am proud to accept Businesswoman of the Year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brian Anthony Campbell. I'm the senior minister of the 15th Street Church of Christ here in Pompano Beach, Florida. I'm also the founder and president of a Movement of Excellence Incorporated. I was born and raised in Pompano and I became a member of the 15th Street Church of Christ uh, in 1985. So I returned to South Florida after graduating from college in 1992 and I returned to my home church. And I started out working with the young people there uh, as a youth minister, then I became the assistant minister. And when the minister at that particular time retired, I became the senior minister in 2003. Uh, so it's like family, you know, the people that I know, it's my family church, uh, people that I love. And all we're trying to do is really to, to make a difference in our community. And we've been able to do that uh, even before I became a minister, or even since I became a minister in uh, 2003. We've been doing that, just trying to make a difference for God in our community. Now, as far as a demon bend of excellence, uh, those are like my children. You know, when you talk about a demon, it's an organization that I started when I was teaching at Blanche Gilead High School in March of 2000. And I started that organization really to, to try to make a difference uh, with the young men in the community. And so our mission is really to develop a, a rare group of young men who exemplify respect, responsibility, brotherhood, and leadership. So for over 24 years, that's exactly what we've been doing, investing in these young men, spending time with them, training and developing them. Really, we're trying to develop young men of character. And if it is the Lord's will, in March of 2025, I'm proud to announce that we will be celebrating our 25th anniversary and Pompano is my home and my heart. You know, I really and truly care about this community because so much of this community has poured into me and helped me to become, you know, the man that I am today. You know, I can remember uh, growing up in the projects of Pompano, Blanche Ely Estates, and 
the sense of community that we had at that particular time. My family came here uh, from North Carolina in 1960 and laid roots here in, in Pompano Beach. And we haven't, you know, we've been here ever since. But the sense of community, family, uh, really has made a difference in, in shaping the man that I am today. What do I do to make a difference? Um, there are several things that I do. I really do believe that my mission is to help people uh, to be all that God created them to be because my faith in God really fuels everything that, that I do. I be believe that I was created to glorify God. So that's what I'm trying to do in everything that I do. So I'm just looking for ways to serve people, to help people to reach their highest potential, to, to achieve their goals. And, and so I do that in a number of ways. Of course, as a pastor, you know, at the church, I believe in pouring into people and helping them to reach their full potential as leaders and servants in the community. And then through a demo, you know, just pouring into those young men, uh, helping them to know that the, really the sky is the limit that if someone like me can come from humble backgrounds here in the city of Pompano and be able to, you know, go off to college and uh, pursue my degree in architecture and, and, and then come back home and, and do the things that I've been able to do, I want them to be able to look at me and know that it is possible. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what your, you know, background may be. You can, when you put your mind to it, you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. I would like to give a shout out to all the folks <laughs> that have poured into who I am. First of all, of course, just thanking God, you know, for, for life itself, my talents, my abilities, my opportunities, everything that I have, everything that I hope to be, uh, I owe it all to God. So he gets the, the first shout out. And then of course, I like to say thank you uh, to my family, uh, both of my parents have passed away, but I still have my siblings with, with me. And I thank them for their continued support and prayers over the years. Um, I thank my community, you know, who have encouraged me and just motivated me throughout these years. And, and if it wasn't for the community, as they say, it takes a village, you know, to raise a child. And I thank God for my village. And I, of course, I gotta give a shout out to my church, you know, the 15th Street Church of Christ where we believe that we are new people with a new vision and a new attitude. So we're still striving to serve the Lord. And of course, a Demu man of excellence. Well, I can't say enough about these young men, but I thank them for, uh, again, just giving me the opportunity to pour into them and help them to reach their full potential uh, as a part of this brotherhood. So those are just a few of the shout outs that I wanna give. This Light of the Community Award really means and acknowledgement um, because oftentimes as servants and um, advocates in the community, a lot of people don't know the work that we do. You know, and I know quite a few people who are serving in the community and trying to do their best, but you don't see them on the TV and you don't see them on the news, you know, but we just continue to serve because it's something that we believe in. But when you get that acknowledgement, like somebody is saying, hey, I see you. And I appreciate what it is that you've done. I appreciate what it is that you're doing. It's almost like, yeah, that acknowledgement that your work is not in vain, that not only is it making a difference, but other people see it. And it's just a, a gentle way of the community saying and, and other stakeholders saying, thank you. And sometimes it's good to hear thank you. <laughs> Again, I'm Brian Anthony Campbell, and I just want to say thank you to the Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce for this particular award, not only for me, but for recognizing all of the shining stars in our community. What you do truly matters, and I just want to thank you again for this award. I'm Jerry Capote. I am a Chief Medical Officer of Broward Health North and the CEO of the Florida Atlantic University Academic Practice Plan. Broward Health has been around for 85 years. We just celebrated our 85th anniversary. 
We have four hospitals in the Northern District of Broward. The one we're closest to is Broward Health North, which I'm the Chief Medical Officer of for the last two and a half years. Our hospital has a lot of different service lines that, that provide service to this community. We're a level two trauma center. We are a STEMI receiving center, so we do take care of all the heart attacks that come in through the ambulance. We perform you know, life-saving procedures on those patients. Um, we are accredited to do joint replacements in the area. We also have a wonderful inpatient rehab unit. Broward Health also has a lot of things that they do beyond direct patient care. We provide a ground level educational experience for fresh uh, graduates of medical school. So at Broward Health North, we have internal medicine residents, general surgery, surgical critical care, pulmonary critical care, ophthalmology, hematology, oncology, orthopedics, and a slew of other programs. And we're really focused on training the future doctors of Broward Health and Deerfield and Papano Beach. And so um, again, Jerry Capote, I'm actually a board certified pulmonologist and critical care physician. And I transitioned over to the administrative side about three years ago, but I'm actually a born and raised Miami guy. I'm a Cuban by, by heritage. My whole family lives uh, south of Flagler Street, which is kind of one of the areas in, in Miami. And I'm the first one to really leave Dade County to go all the way up to Broward and the move has been great. I have a, a wife who's a dermatologist. She practices down in Miami and Boca and I have two children, uh, 12 and 10 years old. So one of the big things that I'm doing right now to make a difference in the community is, is building a practice through Florida Atlantic University and Broward combined and focused on where the area of vulnerabilities are in our, in our community. So where are our service gaps? Uh, where are we most vulnerable in as far as an aging out doctor population, where doctors are retiring and leaving gaps in the, in the services that are provided in this community? So that's been my real big focus and really how to train these residents in those vulnerability areas and giving them a, an opportunity to come work in this community afterwards. Yes, you know, I've been very fortunate to join Broward Health North and have a wonderful C-suite partners, Matt Gardner, which you've met many times, Madison Workman, Eileen Manistay, are really uh, at the ground level of everything we're doing from every service line or academic partners. Uh, it's really a collaborative effort. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite humbling knowing that we've been recognized by the community that we're focused on serving um, and been kind of selected out of, uh, of, of what I would think a big uh, panel of my peers. Uh, you know, it, it, kind of a little bit lost for words. I'm, I'm, I'm not great with the attention of it, um, but I think it, it kind of just identifies the bigger picture of what we're doing at Broward Health and me being kind of the, the, the focal point of it or, or kind of the representative of it, it's quite humbling to represent a, a 1,500 bed, you know, district of hospitals that's been around for 85 years, it's quite humbling. So uh, Jerry Capote, I am actually a citizen of this district of Broward. I'm very proud to represent the community that I live in and continue to work hard to better um, the services we provide through Broward Health and beyond. Good afternoon, honored guests, members of the chamber, friends and family. My name is Lucille Coppola. I am the senior manager and director of catering and fundraising for Caraba's Italian Grill, Pompano Beach. I am the proud mother of two children, Elizabeth and Marco, and blessed with three beautiful grandchildren. I was born and raised in New York City and moved here to Florida in my early 20s. I am the fifth generation in my family to continue working in the hospitality industry, opening 22 of my own restaurants, both here in the US and in Italy. Several years ago, while I was living in Italy, I sadly lost my husband to cancer and returned home to Florida and joined the Carabas family. Little did I know at the time what a wonderful decision that was going to be. I had never worked for such a large corporation as Blooming Brands, and I never dreamed that my passion for charity would continue to be fulfilled within this company. I was pleasantly surprised. During the past year, I've had the pleasure to work with the core team from BSO. The members of that team, together with the team from Carabas, have created a very special relationship. 
From the first day that we met, I knew that we were going to be lifelong friends. Together, we have achieved so much from toy drives, to feeding the homeless, to hospital and school programs, to honoring our veterans, to developing our youth into caring adults. We have been there to help. Most people would never look at a chain restaurant such as Carabas to be the leader in the community for charity work, but they are so wrong. Carabas is not the typical chain restaurant. It was founded by an Italian family, created by Italian traditions, and deeply rooted in Italian culture. Every patron that walks through our door is like a guest that we invited into our home. Everyone is welcome and everyone is treated like royalty. Not too many restaurants can make that statement. I have worked in several different Carabas locations, but I found my home when I transferred to the Pompano Beach store. We truly are a family at this restaurant, and I am so proud to say that Vicki Willis, the managing partner, is my best friend. Without her, none of the charity work that we have done would ever have been possible. She is always there supporting me in any idea that I suggest, in anything that I ask her to donate, she always says yes. This is so rare to find someone who shares your passions and beliefs and be able to work with them on a daily basis. Our motto is, together we can accomplish anything, and we have. Therefore, I share this award with her. She deserves this honor as much as I do. We are a team, and I thank her from the bottom of my heart for all that she does. Personally, it is a great honor to be receiving this award and to be included in such a fine group with the other recipients. When I joined the Carabas family, I was somewhat lost in my personal life. After losing a spouse for 35 years together is not easy, but I needed to stay strong for my family. I was certainly capable of doing my job as a restaurant manager, but my drive to have a purpose in life was missing. I found that purpose again within the community of Pompano Beach, and I am so grateful to everyone whom I have encountered along the way. I have met so many wonderful people and I am so proud to call them my friends. This has been a great journey so far and I hope to continue working together in the future. It makes me so proud to see all of our efforts have actually made a difference. Thank you so very much. I'm Sandra King, the City of Pompano Beach's Strategic Communications Administrator. I've been fortunate enough to work for the City of Pompano Beach for over 30 years. Yes, I was hired when I was 12 years old. I started as a public information officer for the Pompano Beach Police Department for 10 years and was transferred to the city to create a communications department. I take the role of communicating information about the city to its residents and visitors very seriously. What started as a government TV station and newsletter has grown into a city website and app, marketing team, graphic design, social media, event planning, and tourism, which are all important to communicate in every possible means we can to inform the public about our great city. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my incredible boss, city manager, Greg Harrison, the mayor and city commission, my colleagues, and my fantastic communications team. I am fortunate to work with such a talented and committed group. Receiving the Chamber of Commerce Shining Star Award is a testament to the collective effort and dedication of our team. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to my family, friends, and mentors. This award is as much yours as it is mine. Thank you. Daryl Stallings. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, Broward Sheriff's Office, Pompano Beach District. I'm a 37-year veteran of the agency. Um, I'm currently assigned to the Area 2 section of the city, which is everything west of Dixie Highway. Being so Pompano is, is, is a great place to work. Like I said, I started my career with the city of Pompano Beach. I had several jobs with, with, with the agency, and one of the jobs I have now is, is again, being the captain. And one of the things that the agency does, and we do as, as a Pompano Command, is that we put all of our stuff in, put all of our problem solving in a forward thinking type of way, you know, to try to, try to see what's going on in the, in the future or what's gonna be our next problems. I work with a, bunch, a group of guys and girls that, that are probably the best. I actually call them my family. 
I think I said something earlier. Um, uh, I was a former school resource officer and uh, I spent nine years at Sanders Park Elementary School and Markham Elementary School. Sanders Park had about 700 students, Markham about 528. My personal feeling about, about those schools was that um, I wanted to make sure that I touched each one of those kids or had some kind of relationship with each one of those kids every single day that I was there. And people said, well, why, why would you want to do that? I said, because if I could be the person that they want me to be, then I've accomplished my goal. I want to be able to look in the mirror and say, I've done everything that I needed to do. And people will always ask me too, is that, because I talk about them as my kids. And when I say, uh, I have 700 of them, they look at me all crazy, but I have two at, at home, but 700 at Sutton's Park, you know, and 500. And I'm always refer to them as my kids. I just make myself accessible. You know, one of the things that I think about is that you can't be successful hiding in the office or hiding behind something. You need to be out in the field and get to know the person, people that you're dealing with, people that you're, you know, you're serving. And so I make it my business to get out every single day and I walk the community and I talk with folks in the community. And that way I can, I stay in tune with what's going on. And I just think that that, that is the best thing about my job because now I can direct folks to handle the problems that need to be handled. I don't care what it is that we talk about. I talk to, to everyone. If they'll talk to me, I'll talk to them. For, first of all, it's, it's uh, I would say my, my family, because they kind of uh, stand by me, you know, for the time I've been doing it. You know, uh, they're, they're, they're the reason that I, I am who I am. Um, but also too is that the men and women from the Broward Sheriff's Office that I work with daily. Um, when you start talking about family, family consists of, um, people that support you, people that love you, people you can confide in, and people you trust. And so when you start talking about acknowledging folks, those men and women that I work with every day, and my family, those are really truly my family. First of all, I've, I've looked at some of the recipients and to be in the same category as, as they are, a shining star. You know, pe people have said to me, um, I've been, some people have said that you are, you're great, you're awesome, you're a trailblazer, you're a pioneer. Now, I really don't like the trailblazer pioneer thing because it makes you seem old, but however, it, it's it's um, something that, that I really truly honored to be a part of um, because I realized that everybody can't be a shining star. And you know, so when you start talking about all those other titles with all those other labels, and now I can honestly say I'm a shining star, you know, that's something that, that, again, I'm very, very proud of and I appreciate, you know, the chamber and for those who, that was part of the selection process to choose me. So, I'm honored. Yeah, I, I wanna give a personal thank you to the uh, selection committee um, for selecting me to, to be a recipient of the Shining Star you know, Award. I goes, you know, I think it's hard for me to accept individual accolades because of, of who I am. Um, uh, I work amongst a galaxy of stars, a galaxy of shining stars. And so again, thank you, Chamber, for this recognition and uh, definitely appreciate it. Thank you. My name is Dr. Carl Trays, and I'm a general dentist here in Pompano Beach, just off Atlantic and Federal. I'm also a member of the Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce and part of the Chamber's Boat Parade Committee. So a little bit about me. I'm originally from upstate New York, but moved to Florida for dental school, where I attended Nova Southeastern University. And in between my studies, I spent a few years living in the Bahamas and Central America, studying marine science and pursuing my love for the photography. But after dental school, I started working on the west coast of Florida until I realized that I preferred the east coast just a little bit better. And let's be honest, the fishing and diving is better here too. So I moved to Pompano and got a job with Dr. Brian Rask in his office where I now work and absolutely love it. I live in Pompano with my beautiful wife, Jackie, and our great Dane Louie, and we're only a few minutes from the beach, which is fantastic. As a dentist and now a local, I strive every day to be the best dental provider that I can to everyone that comes into our office. In everything that I do, really, I try my hardest not only to do the best work possible, but to make a difference. Whether it's within the community as a whole or with a single patient, 
I aspire every day to make sure anyone I interact with leaves with a smile on their face. I love Pompano and everyone here, so why not show that in my life and in my work? I've been helping co-chair the boat parade for the last few years, which has been such an exciting experience, and just love the challenge of putting together this event that reaches so many people. I wanna thank the Chamber first for giving me this award. Brian Rask, thank you for this opportunity in introducing me to the Chamber. And last but definitely not least, my amazing wife, Jackie, thank you for supporting me in everything that I do. To me, this award means a lot. It means that people have noticed that I try to make a difference each and every day, which is great. It also means I should keep doing what I'm doing, and so I will. I'm so grateful to be nominated to receive this award and really appreciate it. Thank you.